I met Chick in 2010 when I first came to the United States, uh, my first time to US. And I went to DC, when Washington DC. Chick was uh, the president of Alliance for Peace Building. Chick was uh, always introducing me to the senators, the congressmen, and to very high level officials in the American government. And also, most importantly, <clears throat> Chick introduced me to Peter Yarrow went to his house in uh, New York and together Peter Yarrow sang that song for me and he said this is the song I sang with my two other friends Mary and uh, Paul during the time when Martin Luther King delivered I have a dream speech so to me that was a very perfect moment that Chick introduced me to his very special friend and can imagine being in the house of Peter Yarrow him picking the guitar to sing the song that he sang in 1963 uh, to welcome on stage Dr. Martin Luther King on the day when he delivered the most famous speech. Well, I first met Chick probably 25 years ago when I was a member of the National Peace Corps Association Board of Directors and Chick was the president and CEO of that organization. And I was immediately taken with him because of his incredible vision, not only for the NPCA, but just his compassion for the world's people and his commitment to making the world a better place. Whether he's negotiating peace between war and warring factions, whether he's mentoring young leaders, whether he's working to preserve Peace Corps' legacy or inspiring others to lives of service, Chick's energy, his vision, his life's work has focused on building peace and serving humanity. And that commitment is what makes him worthy of all the honors he is being given. Chick and I were both students at Oklahoma State, but uh, I met him primarily through something called the Forum Committee, of which Chick was the leader. And Chick recruited myself and my wife to be members of that committee. And the function of the committee was to invite well-known speakers and informative speakers to come address the student body at Oklahoma State. Chick embodied the, the OSU ideal of spreading the benefits of education and knowledge beyond the campus. Oklahoma State's well-known for its uh, overseas involvement and Chick really felt that he had an obligation to take what he knew, spread it beyond the state, beyond the country, make it available to as many people as he could. And that was a commitment he always followed. Whatever I think about Chick Dambak, what I, I, I comes out of you know, him immediately is, is unmatched dream for a better world. Uh, he has a very positive way of imagining the world where people live side by side in peace. He's such a peace addict. I, I always ask Chick, say, why did you choose a space of peace, which he, a lot of people think is not rewarding, there's not much money. You could have been a massively rich person with a lot of work you're doing. And then he always said, Victor, nothing satisfies me more than the feeling that the weak and the vulnerable in the world communities are supported and not left alone. I would say that Chick is a person who has championed the cause of peace and elevated the dignity and common humanity of all people. And I believe there's no more important calling than that. He had ideals he was committed to in terms of service and in terms of the way service should uh, encompass not just the campus and the students, but uh, the people of the state and should go beyond the state and even beyond uh, the borders of our nation. He's never shy to step up for Africa. I feel like he has, he has been there for the continent. And I think oftentimes uh, people create an environment where they tell African stories and it becomes distorted narrative, but that is not chic. She creates a platform where African people are given opportunity to tell their stories. 
and they hone their stories. I think professionally, what strikes me most is the incredible role that he played in brokering peace between Eritrea and Ethiopia. It's really, truly an unsung, he is an unsung hero in this regard. And even though peace is fleeting in that part of the world, and we know that there are currently many difficulties in, in Ethiopia right now, and uh, in particular in the North, his uh, efforts to establish peaceful relationships and, and forge the um, pathway to peace that lasted for more than a decade, it would not have happened without Chick and his knowledge of the region, his um, commitment to the principles of peace building and his um, just strong understanding of, of the issues that underpinned the conflict. In your heart, I do know Chick. You'd be happy to see Oklahoma plays a much bigger role in administering and nurturing and playing a bigger role in raising the leaders for positive change around the world. May Oklahoma University, may Oklahoma State University deliver your dream for a better world and through education and supporting. You have done a good job. We will always cherish you. Thank you for being such a, an inspiration to me and to millions of African children around the world. May peace prevail in your name. Thank you, Chick. You're my brother.